And I have a few minutes and so uh, set this up really quickly. I hope that you've had an amazing day. Um, God is so faithful. We just had an incredible time at, um, I don't even know if I can call it a conference. Y'all, I haven't wept this much in a long time. Uh, but it was incredible nonetheless, and I'm grateful to join you. I hope that you can hear me okay. Um, I'm waiting <laughs> on my ride to get here, as you can tell. Um, we are on the road, traveling, traveling, traveling. And so uh, I have a little bit of extra time. So God is faithful. God is faithful. So come on in the room, do me a favor. Um, as you come in, like the video, share and invite, share is caring because we care, we share, and all of that good stuff. Um, and so, welcome, welcome. I pray that you have been amazing. I haven't been as available uh, because there's so many things going on uh, in our travels, and oftentimes, as the Lord is doing such an amazing work um, just in His body and things that we are experiencing, I'm not always able to come live. Um, oftentimes, I'm still still processing and when I'm still processing um, I don't come on but I, I've been removed for a while and so um, I just feel the need to come on and share this I do have a follow-up from the live yesterday for those of you who caught it if you didn't go back and catch the replay um, it's very uh, significant for those of us you know not just in the earth or not just in the body of Christ but in the earth um, as far as the shifts that are coming and they're coming swiftly uh, God said that there's going to be another wave of the change of the guards and so um, we bless God for this and for this message for you all. I'm going to greet you for just a moment and then we'll hop right in. Blessings to you Lady Beverly, welcome. Hey Lady Liv Montgomery, hello. Lady Priscilla, hello. Lady Alicia, hello. It seems like it's been a minute. Welcome. Uh, hey Lady Angie, blessings to you, Repurpose for Greater. Hey Lady Tasha Jones, blessings to you, Lady Washanda Lee, blessings to you, Brother Jeff, um, blessings to you, uh, Faith Cantero, God bless you, welcome, so glad that you are here, God bless you. Um, let us see here. Blessings to you, Lady Nate Almi. Welcome, welcome. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. What are you waiting on? Um, so I'm glad that you are a part of this channel, part of our community. So we praise God for that. Um, I'm so glad that you are here, Lady Faith. May you be encouraged in your faith in Jesus' mighty name, 13, and a believer in the Lord. Hallelujah, that is so worth it, and I'm so glad that you are a part of the body of Christ. It is a blessing to me. Um, blessings to you, Lady Catherine. Um, and so, you can um, you can message me at LadyJeremia.com, Lady Faith. So, let us jump into the word for now at the same time. At the same time, I'm rather... Um, excited about this word at the same time um, it's a very pregnant word uh, the, I could say at the same time for a lot of things at the same time there <laughs> the, the body of Christ is going to be the best of times and the worst of times um, that's not necessarily everything that we're um, on here for tonight um, but at the same time for those of you to be made aware that it is the best of times at the worst of time at the same time for many um and so i'm grateful for your presence um so at this time though <laughs> what i wanted to share is uh, the lord was speaking to me about many of you that have been waiting on things for various reasons and many of us have been believing god for the promises of god and so you expected them to have happened by now you have expected for them to show up and oftentimes he says you know it's on the way or it's soon and and, you know that feels like okay soon was like a long time ago in my definition of soon right or your definition of soon and yet you find yourself still waiting you find yourself still you know believing in the lord and you know waiting on him to show up and waiting on things that he's promised you to show up um, and sometimes it feels like you watch watching a pot of water boil and it just seems like it can't boil fast enough um, in our city where I grew up, we had uh, public transportation. And it would seem like when you were looking down the street waiting on that bus to come, it took forever, literally, for it to show up, right? Um, and so I believe that many of you have been 
waiting on things, waiting on promises from God. And it feels like, Lord, you said that it was coming. And some of you, quite honestly, it's like month in and month out. It's year in for some of you and year out. Some of you, you might have even been waiting for over a decade. And so um, the description or I should say the revelation that this came from was likened unto, um, we have a store, y'all probably been there, Target or Target <laughs> for many of you, um, the way you prefer to call it. And I remember being on one and it was a two story level um, store. And you know, there are times where you can get on the elevator, but who wants to wait on the elevator, right? And so they also had the escalators. And so oftentimes the escalators, there's not a significant weight or at least you can feel like you're on your way for something. Well, oftentimes when you are on the second level, you know, uh, and you're trying to put it on the escalator, you have to separate from your things. And, you know, on the second floor, you know, whether you paid for it or not, you're intending to pay for it you have to separate for your for, from your cart and you know I remember putting my cart because there was a um, I guess there was an escalator for just the your, your shopping cart and then there would be an escalator for people to actually travel down and they were separate and you literally had to separate from the things that you wanted separate from the things that you showed up to get the thing and there are many of us have who have shown up you know to the things of god we've shown up and we you know we've even been told this is what he wants you to have or maybe it seemed like it's coming to your possession for a short period of time and then all of a sudden you've had to really feel like you were separating from your things and whether you pay for them completely or not whether they are fully yours and you feel like they're your ownership just from the simple fact that you selected them you were part of that selection process they were handed to you it was available to you you feel like it's yours and you feel a type of way when you are separating from that thing and so um, I want to read a little bit of scripture for us tonight before I give this example because we're not gonna be on here for very long it says this in the word of the Lord I'm gonna actually go um, to Isaiah chapter number 60 verse number 22 in the New Living Translation it says the smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And many of you have been waiting on God, and he is saying that it is the right time. Now, with that process, is like, okay, you've been right timing me for a minute, Lord. And in another translation, it says, at the appropriate time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Listen, in the Berean Study Bible, it says, or Standard Bible says, in its time, I will accomplish it quickly, saith the Lord. In the King James Version, it says, I, the Lord, will will hasten it in its time. You know, Ecclesiastes chapter number three says, you know, there's a timing for everything under the heavens. And you're like, okay, Lord. And it actually describes 28 different series for differences of time, right? Um, and even if this, it can be a time for this and a time for this. And, it, and there can be feeling like they're so polar opposites. And that's how many of you have felt at various times in your life. Now, the thing about this is when you are placing your cart down its own escalator, you put that there, like you, you surrender it, you almost submit it. Like, and then you have to just trust that it's gonna come down. You go to your portion of the escalator and you're like, okay you, you get on there and you realize that it looks like your car is not moving and it doesn't move until it moves right and 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 it won't move until and unless it's in the right position and then it's like so it's just there it's just sitting there um, and there are many of you who feel like you have submitted your promise back to the Lord. You Maybe he challenged you like he did uh, Abraham in Genesis chapter number 22 when he said, you know, bring me your only sacrifice, that thing that you've been leaving me for. Will you trust me with it? And you're like, Lord, I'm put this thing on the altar and I'm still waiting for you. And, you know, just like with this cart, there is no motion for it. 
for it. Just like, you know, there is no motion as pertains to your promise. And, it, and it's not going to look like it's coming until it comes. I just wanted to just give you that. I just wanted to tell you that there are times in our life where it's not going to look like it's coming until literally it shows up. And you know what the thing, the nerve of it is, like you cannot wait for it to start moving, for you to then get on. Like you get on your escalator. You can't go back up. You can't, you know, turn around. You know, you be the hurt yourself trying to run backwards or whatever trying to get back to make sure and before you even think to try to get off the escalator to move it guess what it has the nerves for it to start moving now what's significant about that is until it's in the right position it won't move either like those wheels have to be locked in just right and it's going to cause it to automatically start moving on its way to you and not just on its way to you to where you are but on its way to where you are going there are so many of us at times in our life we're like god i've given this to you and then we do what we stop moving and we want to see us on the move and then we're gonna go and it's like no no if you can be on that escalator it's not gonna stop you not getting off till you get to the bottom and you know what when you get to the bottom of the escalator somehow some way that that car is able to make up for the lost time even though it took it a little bit longer before it started moving even though there are times you're like is it gonna move at all it shows up right at the same time as you. And God wanted me to encourage you that there are things in your life, it's not gonna show up until you show up where you were supposed to be. Your car, that thing, you know, those those things that you've had in your position, they are not gonna show up for you until you get to where you are supposed to be. So you might as well continue forward anyway. You must might as well continue trusting the process that it's going to be there when you get there because it's not gonna hit stop. It's it's not going to stop midway. <laughs> you know, once you commit yourself to this, it's kind of like in the book of Acts, I believe it's chapter number 27. And it talks about how Paul and, you know, the rest of the prisoners, they were on the ship and they had committed themselves to the sea. And there are those of you, you like, yo, how this going to work? Because you've committed yourself. You are in what feels like some rocky waters. It feels like, but where else you going to go? You out, you out here now. You might as well go on ahead and believe for the rest of the way. And so with this escalator, the one you're on, I just want you to know your belongings, the things that God has promised you, it's going to show up right at the proper time not just the proper time at the very same time. It's gonna catch up. And there are those of you who are believing God for things and it feels like they are so much further behind. But I decree over you in the name of Jesus that they are going to catch up to you and they are going to make up. God is gonna cause it to make up for lost time. Now the scripture also says this in Isaiah chapter number 60, verse number 22 in the ESV, it says, the least one will become a clan. When I tell you small is the new big, there are some of you who feel like you know you were the least likely the most unlikely but god is saying i can do way more with you than you feel like i can than you think that i can because he's just god like that and when you are down to you know just what you have when you submit your natural to his super he's going to cause there to be some supernatural occurrences and listen in the niv it says in its time i will do this swiftly god is getting ready to do some things extremely swiftly now the bible says this in second corinthians chapter number six verse number two behold now is the acceptable time behold now is the day of salvation another translation says this in an acceptable time i have heard you and in the day of salvation in the day of my rescue for you i have helped you god is saying he's coming to your rescue he's going to become he's coming to help you in an acceptable time god has heard you he heard what has been on your heart he heard your petitions and even the things that you were struggling with in the erv it says i heard you at the right time and I'm giving you help on the day of your trouble. I want to share that with you in Jesus' name. Commit yourself to your process. Get where you need to be and trust God with the rest. He's going to make sure that what you need, that what he desires for you shows up for you, with you at the right time and at the right place. It's not coming in the middle. 
So commit yourself to the process and it's going to show up where you are supposed to be and you're going to have what you need at exactly the right time. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every son and daughter of God who will listen to this on the replay. I thank you, Lord, for every son and daughter of God who is listening this even right now in Jesus' name. For those who are believing you, Lord, for your their promises, they're believing you for things that they've even felt like they paid the price for, the things that they've been part of the solution selection process and other things that you literally put in the card of their life for them and they've had to commit it to you they've had to commit you know themselves to the process not knowing how this was going to you know happen how things were going to turn out and some of them feel like lord there have been things that have been set on the back burner they feel like they are going down i'm going down like you feel like you going down and it feels like ain't nobody around you feel like the whole world is upside down. I want to share with you in the name of Jesus that you are just submitted to this process and what you are in need of, what you are desiring, and the things that God has promised you. Father, I thank you that they are going to show up for your sons and your daughters, even as they get to the right place at the right time. Father, I pray that you would encourage them. I pray that they would remain encouraged in you, that you would strengthen their faith, that you would strengthen their belief and their hope in you in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that you would show up on their behalf swiftly. I thank you, Lord God, that you're hastening it. I thank you, Lord, that you're bringing these things to pass. And I thank you that there will no, be, there will no longer be any delay. In the name of Jesus, Father, you are going to cause there to be swiftlies, for there to be suddenlies over their lives. I thank you, Lord God, that now is the acceptable time. Now is the time of favor. I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that now is the time accepted. Thank you for hearing their prayer. Thank you for hearing their cries, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for coming to their rescue. And I thank you, God, that you're also coming with their great reward. For those who have felt like they were small, Lord God, I thank you that you're expanding them, you're expanding their territory, and you're expanding their reach for your glory in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we just rest in you. We rest in knowing that you were faithful, that promise, and we just decree by the blood, hallelujah, that we will be faithful to continue moving forward as we commit and submit ourselves to your process and in your perfect timing. I thank you, Lord God, that you are going to make it happen and not just happen, but you're going to make it happen swiftly. You're going to hasten to perform it in the name of Jesus, and we bless you for it. We thank you for being a right now, God. We thank you for being faithful. I thank you, Lord, that you will not leave your people without it's going to show up at the right place at the right time it's going to show up even though it looks like it's not moving because they have it in the right position they finally have their faith their hope in the right position there's some areas where they're not sure but they've at least submitted themselves to the process they've committed it to the process they've committed it to you and and they were able to commit it to its own it has its own escalator it's not on the same thing you are in for a period of time sometimes it looks like you cannot even see it it feels like the promise is so so much further behind you but God is saying and I thank you Lord God that you're gonna cause things to make up time I thank you Lord God that you are the God that redeems time and that you are gonna make it up to your people you will restore the years that the locust the canker worm and the pommel worm have eaten your great army alike according to Joel 2 25 and so you're gonna cause the time to be redeemed you Lord according to the message translation Joel 2 25 you're gonna make up for the years Thank you, Lord God, not just for making up for the things that they've been waiting on, but you're going to make up for lost time in Jesus' name. We decree it to be so. Amen and amen. Listen, beloveds, I love you all with the love of the Lord. This is for those of you who have been trusting in God. You've been faithful. Your heart has been upright before him. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that their faith has been hoping in you, trusting in you to be faithful. This is for those of you who have submitted and committed yourself to his process and his way trust and believe he's not going to disappoint you the bible says that in psalms 27 and 14 in the passion translation it says you will not be disappointed those who put their fear in the lord those who wait upon the lord you will not be disappointed your hope will not be disappointed and so sometimes it's not the fact that it just hasn't happened like we don't want to be disappointed again god is saying you can trust in him to be faithful he's going to bring it to pass in jesus name now is that proper time that acceptable time listen if you don't follow me go ahead and subscribe today if you haven't liked the video please go ahead and give it a like and i can't wait to join you again very very soon as soon as the lord permits us to do so and for those of you whatever you're believing god 
God for, I'm definitely praying that he is going to cause it to happen for you in Jesus' name. And if there are those of you who desire to sow into this word, of course, you can do that at paypal.me forward slash Sadie Jeremy. The Venmo is the same and the cash app is dollar sign and Mana One. It'll be in the description box below or you can just go to the website. Make sure you put in the subject line what you're believing God for because I want to call out your name and what you're believing God for because I'm believing God for testimonies. I'm believing God for your praise report. Listen, and when you do that, why don't you just go ahead and start putting it in the chat right now and say, at the same time, you and that thing that God promised you, it's going to show up at the same time. It's going to, he's got, he's God. He's redeeming his heart. He got it. And he's already made provision for everything along the way. It's happening with you and for you in Jesus name. Listen, I love y'all. We'll talk soon. God bless.